boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see, this is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, pumpkin scream in the dead of night. This is Halloween, everybody make a sing, trick or treat. Tell the neighbors on your diaphragm, it's our town, everybody scream. Sharp and eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm doing my October wrap up. I DNF'd one and read three. As all of you know, I also started grad school recently, so I spent a lot of time reading for that. So I was not at all pressed to even try to add more books to that. So this will most likely be pretty short and sweet, which is fine by me. Really good. The first book that I tried to read this month was Carrie by Stephen King. I had never read a Stephen King book before and I really wanted to try just to see what all the hype is about and so I asked people for recommendations and the reason that I ended up choosing Carrie um, it was actually suggested by my friend's mom so thank you Mrs. Stewart um, but Carrie is a pretty popular one most people know the story I've already seen the movie so I know what I'm getting into. I picked up the audiobook and I I did not I couldn't get into it I couldn't I was almost dreading picking it up because I just really wasn't enjoying it that much I do not like Stephen King's writing style I don't like the way he describes things I don't like the way he talks about women and sometimes he like sexualizes situations where it's completely uncalled for so as I'm talking to more people about it, I'm noticing that that is kind of common. And I know that there are some people who totally love Stephen King and that's totally fine, but he's not for me. The first book that I read this month was When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. I absolutely love this. I gave it 4.75 out of five stars. The only reason that I didn't give it a full five star is because there was one thing that irritated me a little bit and you can probably already guess what it is. Alyssa Cole is a romance author, but this is her first thriller. I've never read any of her romance, obviously, but this one was really good. If you don't already know, in this book, we follow Sydney Green, who was born and raised in Brooklyn. All of a sudden, she starts realizing that the people who have been there her entire life are either packing up and moving away or just disappearing and haven't been heard from for a really long time. So with the help of her neighbor, Theo, they start looking into the history of the neighborhood and everything going on. And it turns out that there is something sinister happening. I absolutely love this. Highly recommend if you are into thrillers. A few books like this, particularly this one, have sparked a conversation on booktube where basically what's happening is that white reviewers are giving this book a low rating because they're saying it doesn't feel like a thriller. Essentially what they're saying is that they can't relate to it because it's about gentrification and racism and so they're not getting those creepy vibes because this is not something that affects their community. I'm going to leave a link in the description to a video that Jesse from Bowties and Books did. They very expertly and gracefully explain the situation and why that's not acceptable and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that if you don't understand why this is a thriller, a psychological thriller, then you need to pay a little bit more attention. But otherwise, I highly recommend this book. It's amazing. I was recommending it to people when I was only 100 pages in, so if that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know what will. The second book that I read this month was And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This is the first time I've ever read it. I don't know how I went so long without reading it, but I really, really enjoyed it. It was so good. I did not know who the murderer was. If you're not familiar with this book, 10 people get invited to Soldier Island. They all get a mysterious letter from this Owens family and nobody really knows who they are. So then people start dying one by one and one of them is the killer, but nobody knows who. I wasn't able to figure it out, but thinking about it now, there was one thing that was different about this particular person than about everybody else that was there but it was also like the person that you didn't expect it to be so i i don't know definitely looking forward to reading more murder mysteries if you have recommendations please send them to me i really enjoyed this i know that this is an old book i totally understand that however it did knock my rating down a little bit because there was some sexism, racism, slut shaming. And I understand time period, 
but it did take my rating down a little bit so I gave this four and a half stars. The last book that I read in the month of October was The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. This was a reread and I'm sad to say that I'm actually going to be lowering my rating on this. I will probably do a full review but essentially this was the first book that I read of 2020. I gave it five stars. However, I think there were certain circumstances that made me think it was better than it actually was so when I reread it this time I, I actually tabbed it. It's full of literal red flags but if you don't already know in this we follow Theo Faber I think his last name is. He is a psychotherapist who wants to work with this woman named Alicia Berenson who was a famous painter and murdered her husband. After that she has not spoken a single word. It's been six years since the murder happens, but Theo thinks that he can help her start speaking again. So I'm gonna give it three stars this time around. And like I said, I'll probably do a full review. I wouldn't say I don't recommend it. I recommend it if you like mysteries with a good plot twist. There were just a lot of things that I noticed this time around that weren't necessarily problematic, but basically the main character is trash. So just if you're interested, keep that in mind going in. So those are all the books that I read in October. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.